Hey there, I'm going to show you a method that I learned from Amanda Fox on how to make virtual scratch off tickets in Canva. I do mine a little bit differently because at the end I put it into Google Sheets to make the final product because that's a little bit of an easier medium for my teachers to work in. So first things first, you need a blank canvas in Canva. I just have a regular 11 by eight and a half inch blank piece of paper and I'm going to build my scratch off card on top of here. So first things first, we need a background. Search Canva for a background. And then once you have it, add it to your slide. So I've got this gradient background. I like the gradient colors. It's going to look really good with the ideas I have in mind for the virtual scratch off ticket. Next, we need to add graphics and on the top and instructions for our teachers to know what to do. So I'm going to find some casino type graphics and I'm going to add a little bit of text to make it say something cute and I'll meet you right back here. Hey there. So I added some graphics, well, a graphic, and then I added some text. So it says I hit the jackpot with you. Next, I want to add my prizes. So one of the questions I get asked a lot are what are some no cost prize ideas that I can include on my virtual tickets or my scratch off tickets. So here are some ideas that I came up with that I wanted to share with you. Whenever I do an ed tech training, I request swag from the ed tech company and they usually send me t-shirts, pens, notebooks, keychains, lanyards, stickers, all sorts of stuff. I also offer to cover an AM or PM or lunch duty for a teacher to or from electives or the favorite for by all my teachers is the 10 minute brain break for the teacher. So I come in and take over the class for 10 minutes and give the teacher a breather. So let's pick three of those no cost prize ideas and add them to our virtual scratch off ticket. So I've added my three prize options and directions onto my scratch off card. Now what I want to do is I want to lock some of the elements because I'm going to share this actually with you as a template in Canva, but I want to keep some of the elements locked down so you can't change them. So I'm going to click on this element, the text, I hit the jackpot and I'm going to lock it and I'm going to click on with you and I'm going to lock it and I'm going to click on jackpot and I'm going to lock it. Same with this down here. I'm not going to lock these because I want you to be able to change them on the template and I'm not going to lock the background because you can change that too. And then I want to add some confetti to the top just to make it more fun. So I found some confetti as one of my elements in Canva. I'm just going to add that to the top of my page to make it look like it's just raining confetti. You won a prize. Now that that's done, we're going to download this as a GIF or GIF, however you prefer to say it, and we're going to move it into Google Slides. So to do that, you're going to click on Share, Download, and we're going to pick the page we're on right now, which is page two. So I'm going to go to GIF, and I'm going to unclick all pages and just select Current Page, and click Done, and then click Download. If you wanted to share this as a template, go back to Share, click More, and then you want to Click on template and then select a folder in your Canva and I'm just going to move it there and I'll publish my template. So now I can view my template and it'll show me my template here that I can now share with other teachers to let them move things around and change it on to their own. I'm going to go ahead and go open up a Google Slides and I will meet you there. So now that I have my GIF or GIF on my slide, I need to cover up my prizes because I don't want them to see them. So very simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to in image, <laughs> insert, image, search the web. It's going to pop up on my right hand side and I'm going to search for a silver square. I actually like this one. So now I'm just going to make this smaller and cover up my prizes. Okay. So now that my three squares, my three silver squares are in, it's ready to be scratched off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an Alice Keeler extension that I could not live without. 
called Anyone Can View. And when I click on it, it changes the permissions to Anyone Can View. So in order for my teachers to actually interact with the virtual scratch off ticket, I just have to go to share and change the viewer to editor. Now we're done. So how do I get this to my teachers? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You want to send them a copy so that everybody has their own individual access to one. In your URL bar, come up here and where it says the word edit, simply delete that and type in the word copy and hit enter. And that's going to make a forced copy document of the virtual scratch off ticket. That means this will force a blank copy into their Google Drive and they'll have it forever. So everybody gets a new template. Now, if this link is too long for you, by all means, put it into bit.ly or tiny URL and make it a smaller, more manageable link. Thank you, Alice Keeler. Thank you, Amanda Fox. Thank you, Canva. And I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Bye. Hi there and welcome back. When we left off, we are in Canva and we're now in Google Slides. You could do this in Canva. However, I find it a little easier to do in Google Slides. So we're gonna do that here today. So you've already downloaded your GIF or your GIF, and now we have a blank slides presentation open. The cardinal Google rule is to always name your Google Suite tool just in case something happens and you can't find it. So I'm gonna type in virtual scratch off ticket. And once I have my ticket, I can make as many copies as I want. So I want to change the page size to make sure that it's going to match with what I downloaded. To do that, I'm going to go to File, all the way down to the bottom to Page Setup. Then I'm going to go in and do Custom, and I'm going to change it to 11 by 8.5 inches because that's what uh, my dimensions were in Canva. And that's just going to apply that to that. So then once your GIF downloads, just upload it into your slides presentation.